Dobson flies are known for their large size and distinct appearance. They have long, slender bodies and elongated wings. Males typically have large mandibles or pincers that resemble antlers, while females have shorter mandibles. They are primarily active at night and are considered bioindicators, meaning their presence or absence can indicate the water quality of their habitat. They are sensitive to pollution and changes in water conditions, making them important indicators of environmental health. As larvae, dobson flies play a significant role in aquatic ecosystems as predators, helping to control populations of other aquatic organisms. Lepidoptera, the order of insects encompassing butterflies and moths, is known for its remarkable diversity and beauty. With over 180,000 identified species, they exhibit a captivating array of colors, patterns, and forms. They undergo a complete metamorphosis, starting as eggs that hatch into caterpillars. These caterpillars voraciously consume plant matter, displaying a wide range of feeding behaviors and preferences. After reaching maturity, the caterpillar transforms into a chrysalis, where a complete restructuring of its body takes place. Finally, the adult butterfly or moth emerges, showcasing intricate wing designs and colors. They are diurnal creatures, while moths are typically nocturnal. Butterflies often display elegant flight patterns and vibrant hues, whereas moths vary in size and shape, exhibiting a broader range of appearances. Dot-lined white moths have a unique way of flying, with a zigzag or looping pattern, which helps them navigate through the forest understory. They are primarily nocturnal creatures, meaning they are active during the nighttime. They are attracted to sources of light, such as artificial lights or moonlight. The Atlas moth is famous for its impressive wingspan, which can reach up to 30 centimeters, this makes it one of the largest moth species in terms of wingspan. Like most moths, it has a relatively short adult lifespan. The adults do not feed and live for only about one to two weeks, during which their main focus is reproduction. The atlas moth is known for producing silk, although it is not commercially harvested like silk produced by silkworms. The cocoons of the moth are thick and have a brownish color. Sunset moth is renowned for its vibrant and iridescent colors. The upper side of its wings displays a kaleidoscope of hues. These colors are created by the diffraction and reflection of light on specialized scales present on the wings. Unlike most moth species, it is diurnal. It can often be observed fluttering around in sunlight, feeding on nectar from various flowering plants. One of the most remarkable aspects of monarch butterflies is their long-distance migration. In North America, some populations of monarchs undertake annual migrations, traveling thousands of miles from their breeding grounds to overwintering sites. These migrations are often multi-generational, with successive generations continuing the journey. The bright orange coloration of monarch butterflies serves as a warning signal to predators. Monarchs contain toxins obtained from the milkweed plants they feed on as caterpillars, making them unpalatable and potentially harmful to predators. They face several challenges, including habitat loss, pesticide use, and climate change. These factors have contributed to a decline in their populations in recent years. When in flight, Blue Morpho showcases its brilliant blue wings, creating a captivating sight. The butterflies have a slow and graceful flight pattern, often gliding and flapping their wings intermittently. As adult butterflies, they primarily feed on the juices of rotting fruits, tree sap, and other sources of nectar. While it is not currently considered endangered, habitat loss due to deforestation and human activities poses a threat to its population.
The Canadian tiger swallowtail is a large and striking butterfly with distinctive black tiger-like stripes on its yellow wings. It is usually active from late spring to early fall, with peak activity occurring in the summer months. It is known for its graceful flight, soaring through the air with slow, rhythmic wing beats. It exhibits a form of mimicry known as Batesian mimicry. Some female individuals of this species have evolved to resemble the toxic and unpalatable blue-tailed mole skink, which serves as protection against predators. Fleas are small, wingless insects that are known for their ability to jump long distances. They are parasitic creatures that feed on the blood of mammals and birds, including humans. Fleas can cause discomfort and transmit diseases to their hosts, making them a nuisance and potential health risk. Sauropterus is an extinct genus of giant stem group flea who certainly parasitize pterosaurs and other reptiles during the Mesozoic. Asian tiger mosquitoes are primarily active during the daytime, especially during dawn and dusk. They are aggressive biters and are known for their persistent biting behavior, often causing irritation and discomfort to humans and animals. It is a significant vector for several diseases, including dengue fever, Zika virus, chikungunya, and yellow fever. When the mosquito feeds on an infected individual, it can transmit the pathogens to a new host during subsequent bites. Understanding the behavior and impact of the Asian tiger mosquito is crucial for implementing effective control measures and reducing the risk of disease transmission associated with this species. Crane flies are often recognized for their long, slender bodies and long legs, which resemble those of a crane. As adults, they do not feed or have short mouthparts incapable of biting. Their main focus during this stage is reproduction. They are known for their delicate flight, often appearing slow and erratic. They play a role in nutrient recycling and decomposition by breaking down organic matter. Their larvae help in soil aeration and can be an essential food source for other organisms. Although crane flies are sometimes mistaken for large mosquitoes, but they do not possess biting mouthparts or a blood-feeding habit like them. Bee flies have stout bodies with a fuzzy appearance, resembling bumblebees. They are typically seen darting around flowers as they feed on nectar and pollen. They are important pollinators, transferring pollen from one flower to another as they visit different blooms. Some species of bee flies exhibit mimicry, imitating the appearance or behavior of other insects such as bees or wasps. This mimicry can serve as a protective mechanism, deterring potential predators. Tsetse flies are blood-feeding insects. Only the female tsetse flies bite, as they require blood for reproduction. Their bites can be painful and may cause local swelling and irritation. For this reason, they are notorious for transmitting African trypanosomes, which are parasites causing sleeping sickness in humans and nagana in livestock. These diseases can be debilitating and, if left untreated, potentially fatal. They are attracted to movement, heat, and dark colors, which can make them particularly troublesome to humans and livestock engaged in outdoor activities.
The house fly is a common insect found worldwide. They are known to feed on a wide range of organic materials, including garbage, feces, decaying food and animal carcasses. They have sponging mouthparts that allow them to liquefy solid food and suck it up. They are considered mechanical vectors of various diseases. They can pick up pathogens, such as bacteria and viruses, from contaminated materials and then transfer them to surfaces or food through their body or mouthparts. Diseases associated with house flies include cholera, dysentery, typhoid fever, and eye infections. The lifespan of a house fly varies, but it typically ranges from two to four weeks. Insects across the globe are facing grave threats that have dire consequences for ecosystems and human existence. Habitat destruction, primarily through deforestation and urbanization, is fragmenting insect habitats and leading to population declines and loss of biodiversity. Widespread pesticide use disrupts insect populations, resulting in ecological imbalances and reduced pollination services crucial for crop production. Climate change, with its rising temperatures and altered precipitation patterns, disrupts insect life cycles, ranges, and interactions, exacerbating their vulnerability. Pollution, including air and water pollution, poses further risks, contaminating insect habitats and affecting their health and reproduction. Invasive species outcompete native insects, disrupt food webs, and introduce diseases, leading to further population declines and ecosystem disruptions. Overexploitation through unsustainable practices, such as overharvesting and illegal trade, poses additional threats, contributing to population declines and ecological disturbances. Addressing these threats is imperative to safeguard insect diversity, restore ecological balance, and secure the vital ecosystem services provided by insects for our planet's health and well-being.